people are really out here saying that Trans Chuchi is the inferior product? I'm sorry, we have the designer expensive bougie coochie. Like, you're telling me if someone says, would you like this free paper bag that came with my groceries? Or would you like this $35,000 bag? You're taking the designer Birkin, babe. Like, seriously, you're just mad because trans girls don't want to put trash like you in our designer bags. Comparing all women's genitals to free paper bags isn't a good look, babe. And men are not trash just because they don't want to be with you. Narcissism alert. You don't have to justify why you don't want to be with someone who's obviously different. Just a reminder, you are different if you've had major surgeries done in your genitals. Some people are into that, some people are not. PSA, transphobia isn't just I hate trans people. It actually can look like this. And then he said, no, I'm calling him a he, he's a he. Marcus, come here. No, I'm not calling you Maria, you're Marcus, come here. Why would we need pads in the men's bathroom? Men don't get periods. If we start allowing men in the women's bathrooms, women are going to get hurt. So you're telling me you wouldn't be scared that there was a penis in the stall next to you? Who needs unisex bathrooms? Like, just go into the freaking woman's bathroom if you're a woman, it's not that hard. They, them pronouns, that's plural, not singular. They are butchering their bodies. <laughs> I would not let my son wear a dress. Mm. I identify as an attack helicopter. <laughs> it's basic science, XX or XY chromosomes. You can say you're a boy all you want, but you're never gonna have a penis. Kids should just learn to love the body God gave them and not try to change it. <sighs> Poor kids and their mental disorders. Oh, they need to go to a psych ward. 98% of what she just said is far from transphobic. This video became really popular on social media because it's a man who got bottom surgery from male to female, and he was apparently inspired by Dylan Mulvaney calling his videos Day's Post-Op Girlhood. Hi everyone, it's day um, 95 right now of my post-op transgender girlhood. Um, that means it's five days till day 100. I know I'm not going to get my princess party on day 100. It's just, it takes a small miracle for that to happen. If my cake pan gets here Wednesday, I'm going to attempt to make a Cinderella cake for myself. Um, it's the Cinderella cake on Amazon. I, was, I really like Ariel and I was going to make the Ariel cake, but the Ariel pan was too expensive. So I'm still going on good. My, pro, my recovery is going good. I've, I don't know if I've told you all this in another video, but I've actually up to this dilator size. So, and I'll be using this one for a month. And then I'll start slowly interchanging it with this thing. So. I'm quite speechless right now. A grown man acting like a little girl, literally. Getting bottom surgery. I will never make fun of this guy or bully him. He's mentally unstable. It's obvious to anyone watching. I have no idea what's going to happen to this guy in 10 years, 20 years, 5 years even, the doctors and the surgeons should be ashamed of themselves. That they didn't think, oh, this guy is clearly not trans, clearly doesn't have gender dysphoria, but something completely else, maybe we shouldn't cut his genitals off? I actually am getting emotional right now because there's nothing wrong with him having that wish, but there's something wrong with him getting a green light from people who are not mentally unstable for the people who are actually responsible. We should blame the system, not the individuals. He clearly needs psychological help. He doesn't need surgery. Hi everyone, um, I picked up a couple of bullies over on Instagram. Uh, they keep on putting messages and like coming after me. I think it's because, you know, I defended Miss Mulvaney maybe. I don't know why, but it's not, it's like they got, they're coming after me specifically for being a trans woman. Like that's why they're coming after me specifically. Um, like they see my reels and stuff and it's like, okay, I, they, they have apparently have nothing better to do with their lives, which is fine. They can be jerks all they want to me. I don't really give a crap, but I think they have a problem, problem. See, they think I don't have anyone to defend me. 
And that's not true because I see all these lovely comments from people here on TikTok. So I'm going to put my Instagram up top. I think it's extremely unethical to help him stay in his delusion. If you're a regular person watching this and you say, you go girl, yes, you're a trans, you are the problem. I'm not going to debate this guy, but I will debate the people thinking that he's trans or acting like they think he's trans. I think they're the problem. I think they're the bad guys. You're not doing him a favor, obviously. So if you really care about another person, don't lie. Don't affirm delusions. It's only going to make things worse. I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to show you someone else responding to crazy TikToks because I sometimes am curious to know what regular straight people think about all this nonsense. I have schizophrenia! I don't care what you have. It doesn't mean we live in squalor. And it doesn't mean you're a bully. I'm not even a bully! You literally dead name me, misgender me, and tell me that- Apparently it's not clear to people that I am mentally and physically disabled. I can't just go out and get a job. If you're in the age of being able to live alone and you live with your parents and you nag them and you nag them and you nag them, it's a possibility that eventually they will kick you out. I loved his reaction. I totally agree with him. One thing I wish he said was just because you have a disability doesn't mean that you can't get a job. So it's actually very degrading and offensive to say, oh, I'm disabled. I can't do anything. I can act like a total asshole towards my parents who are actually sweet enough to take care of me. It's not an excuse. I know people who are disabled, physically or mentally or both. They don't act like these people. So it wouldn't even shock me if she's lying about being disabled, both physically and mentally, because that's a tendency you see too with trans activists. They lie, basically all the time. <laughs> As someone who does not menstruate, I'm non-binary, I don't menstruate. It's funny because you were trying to separate SEX and gender for the longest time on your TikTok journey while actually conflating the two right now, saying the reason you don't menstruate is because you're non-binary, but menstruation has to do with SEX, only females menstruate, and non-binary would have to be a gender, and it's just what you feel, it's just an identity, a social construct. So I'm a little confused on what you're trying to say, but let me help you out. The reason why you don't menstruate is not because you're non-binary, it's because you're a biological male. I love it. She sounds a little bit too PC for me, but who cares? She made a really good point. The last thing I want to talk about in this video is this. Gender bending the 80s versus now. And I absolutely love this photo because it sums up the whole culture perfectly. We used to tolerate men wearing dresses, having fun, not caring about labels, but now it's all about labels. You can't survive without labeling yourself but also other people. I think it's also a problem that these activists are obsessed categorizing other people's opinions into labels and into boxes. Why? Oh, you're a woman, middle age, used to be a feminist in the old days. Hmm, um, you are turf. We just created that term and I wanna label you. I have like a, a sick need to, to label you, so you're a turf. Oh, you are a trans person, you believe in the gender binary, oh, you believe this, this, and that, and you are this, this, and that, you're a trans medicalist. They have a sick obsession labeling other people, their identities, but also opinions, and I'm tired of it. I know I'm only 23, I'm very young, but I do have a lot of older friends. Most of them are actually gay. And when they talk about the old days, it makes me so warm inside. They talked about how these are men. They used to cross-dress and go out drinking, smoking, and just, they were just free human beings and no one cared. Everyone was like, oh, you do you. That's so cool. And I wish that we could have that again. I wish that we don't have to label everyone and we can just be ourselves. Of course, we shouldn't go back to the 80s, like literally, because with the rights and stuff, not everything was fine and, and sunshine and rainbows, but I just miss that people didn't care. 
don't you guys like leave a comment down below and also comment down below what's your age and what's your story because now with my age considered I I'm just getting used to all this hate and labeling and it makes me really sad but to end this video on a positive note, I think it's gonna get better in the future. I don't know exactly how yet, but I have a feeling that this is all just a phase and it's gonna get better. Thank you all for watching this video. Remember to like this video if you wanna see more, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. If you wanna support me with a donation, you could do it under super thanks. It helps me out a lot, so thank you on beforehand and I'll see you all in my next video. Peace out.